Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob. With me, Rob. Bit off, there I am. On the back of the Draw with Rob Build a Story activity book. Now I'm a children's author and illustrator. You might have seen some of my books before. Maybe you've seen the Dinosaur Juniors series. Look, Gregosaurus, the very first Draw with Rob video. We drew Gregosaurus, didn't we? Way back in March 2021. Um, and these Dinosaur Juniors books, they tell the story of the Dinosaur Juniors. So lots of little baby dinosaurs, most of which we have drawn as part of Draw with Rob. Maybe you've seen this book. It's called Grrr. This was my second book ever. And it's all about a bear called Fred who loses his growl. And today I thought we would draw an animal that actually is featured in this book. He's got a very small part in this book, but let's see if we can find him, shall we? So this book, it's a good one. I like this story. So it's all about Fred here, uh, who is an award-winning bear. Look, here we go. Each year, for as long as the forest has stood, a contest is held for the bears of the wood. And the bear that has won for three years in a row is a grizzly called Fred. He's the star of the show, you see, and he's really good. He's a comp prize-winning bear. He's a brilliant fish catcher. He's a brilliant hula hooper. He's very good at scaring the humans too. And he's excellent at the loud growl. That's what he's really good at. But then at some point in this story, he loses his growl. And um, lots of these little animals here, they try and help him find their growl. And one of those animals is this little frog here. And there's lots of them. See, there's rabbits. There's two rabbits. They fall in love in this story. And we've got squirrels and badgers and beavers and foxes and all sorts, elks and eagles, all sorts of things. But I thought today I would show you how to draw a frog. Does that sound like a good plan? A little frog. So let's get our piece of paper. Make sure it's in the middle. Is that in the middle? Does that look about right to you? And let's start, shall we? Right. What you're going to need for this drawing is a piece of paper, obviously. You're going to need a pen or a pencil, something to draw with, and you might want something to colour with a bit later on, okay? Shall we start? Right, in case you've never seen one of these episodes before, one of these Draw With Rob videos, this is how it works. I break our drawings down into little bite-sized pieces, so very simple shapes and lines, and I'm going to show you how to draw it one little step at a time. So I will draw something here, you can pause me, and you can just copy what I draw, then you draw, hang on, let's start again. You pause me, <laughs> then you draw what I've drawn. Start me up again, I'll draw a bit more, then you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. I've said that so many times, you would thought I wouldn't make a mistake, but that's me, I'm afraid. <laughs> so you get the idea, shall we just start? Let's just start, let's just get busy with this, shall we? Now we're gonna start slightly differently. Usually when I'm drawing a character, I start with the head, but today we are going to start with the arms. So I want you about roughly in the center of your page we are going to start by drawing a straight line like that. So about four centimeters long. Not quite vertical, very slightly diagonal. And then I want you to draw another one next to it. About half a centimeter apart but exactly the same. Okay. Then from the bottom of this left hand line we are going to draw another line, very slightly different angle. And at the end of that, we are gonna draw a little circle, but we're not gonna quite join it up. We're gonna stop just short of joining it up. Then we're gonna head back up, but we're gonna stop about there. It's quite fiddly, this bit. Then let's change direction entirely, go back down and stop similarly, similar sort of length to this line here. And then let's draw another one of those circles, but not quite join it up. And then go back up. And then let's just do it one more time. We're going to come out at an angle like this this time. Let's draw our little circle. And this time, let's draw it up again. Jo join it up again, like that. So this is going to be one of our little frog's arms. We're going to do exactly the same now, but we're going to do it as a mirror image. So let's start by drawing that that a slightly diagonal line and the one next to it. Do you remember? Just like we did for the first arm. Exactly the same. Then we're going to carry the line on down a bit here till we get to there. Let's add one of those little circles on the end. Oops. Let's go back up. Come down again. One more circle. If you need to pause me, you pause me because I'm going quite quickly now. 
Down again. Last circle. Round. And we'll join back up again. There we go. Two little froggy arms. Okay. The next thing to do is, well, let's go onto the head now. Let's go onto the head. So we're gonna do the head above here. And what we need to do is a great big egg shape. And I want you to just do it above the arms here. So we're gonna start from about here. We're gonna come down. We don't wanna to touch the arms. We wanna keep a little gap in between. We're gonna come right around like that. But you need to leave a little bit of space at the top of your piece of paper. Two. There we go. Now we're not going to do the details of the face yet, we're going to carry on with the body. But I just wanted to put that in first because I want to know roughly how big our body needs to be. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw a line. Imagine the top of that leg joins up to the head and then move about a centimetre to the right. And we're just going to draw a little line that comes down next to the leg like that, or the arm like that. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So it just sort of goes around our two arms. Then from this point, we're gonna change direction. We're gonna head off uphill. Then we're gonna change our minds. We're gonna immediately head back downhill. And we're gonna stop about there. Okay. Then in this sort of shape we've created here, I want you to put your pen there and we are just going to draw a line that comes down and curves around and disappears into that leg arm arm or leg. I don't know whether they're arms or legs. They're probably all legs, aren't they, on frogs? Then let's do the same on the other side. So we're going to start at the bottom of this line, head back uphill. It's very symmetrical, this drawing. Change our minds, come down, and then we're just going to stop there. Then we're going to draw another one of these lines that sort of goes in the middle of that shape, bends around, disappears into the arm. This time we're going to carry it on through and imagine it's joining up there. So can you see what these are? These are the bent hind legs of our little frog. And we need to give our frog some back feet. So they're gonna look a bit like this, but this is how we'll do it this time. We're gonna come up in our straight line. So make that line roughly the same length as that. Then add our little circly bit on the end. We're gonna come back in. Then we're gonna go back out again. We'll keep it quite close together for these, I think. A little circly bit on the end. In we go. Back out for the last time. Little circly bit. Like that. Then we're going to go right back in and we're just going to tuck it up under there. So there we go. A little back leg. Let's do it exactly the same on this side. We're going to come out. Little circly bit. In. Back out. Little circly bit. In. Last time, back out, little circly bit, and in, and this time we're gonna tuck it around there. And there we go, a little crouching frog body. So I did go quite quickly then, so hopefully you were able to pause me and see how I did all that. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? A little frog body. We now need to give our frog a lovely face. This is how I'm gonna do my frog's face. We're gonna start with the mouth and our mouth is gonna go all the way across the head. So we're gonna start just above halfway and we're gonna do it slightly curving so there's a slight smile. And we're gonna go right to the other side of the head like that. And that, believe it or not, is gonna be our frog's mouth. And the reason the mouth is there is because our frog's eyes, do you remember I said leave a gap at the top of the page? Our frog's eyes are gonna be coming out at the top of his head. So we're gonna draw a semicircle on that side and a big semicircle on this side too. And these are gonna be our frog's eyes. Now this one I'd say is quite a fiddly one actually. When I started, I didn't think it was gonna be, but actually it's quite a tricky one. But you guys have been doing enough Draw With Rob videos with me, haven't you? So you're gonna be equal to the task here. I know you are. Okay, now for the eyes. We're not just gonna draw a circle in the middle because I wanna give our frog some eyelids. So why don't you draw a straight line through this semicircle, sort of slightly sticking out of each side like that. And this is just a little cartoon trick to make it look like our frog sort of a bit, either, he's either gonna look a little bit sleepy or he's just gonna look a bit sort of like he's playing it quite cool. And our eyes, I'm gonna do the eyes slightly to the left, okay? So we do a little semicircle just coming down from that line that we color in. And look, suddenly the frog is awake. 
It's magical this bit, isn't it? When you do this, your character wakes up. It's really magical. Now he's looking slightly that way and you'll see why in a second. First of all, let's give him some little nostrils, shall we? What did I do with my thinner pen? Here we go, my thinner pen. I'm just using a slightly thinner pen, that one's blunt. Now these pens are lovely. These are my Kuretaki pens, they're really lovely. But you know what, they go blunt. I might have told you this before, can you see? I don't know if you can see there, but it's quite sort of blunt. Can you see? It's a bit blurred, isn't it? But this one here is much sharper. These pens, these little brush pens, they sort of, yeah, they, they, they go blunt, like pencils. So I want a nice sharp one. So the reason I've changed the sharp one is because I'm gonna do the little nose, and you know how I like to do these. I like to do little swirls for nostrils. So we're just gonna add a little swirl there. I'm gonna do the same here. Hang on, which way should that go? It's a mirror image. I find it hard to get my head around this. It should go that way, shouldn't it? There we go. Little mirror image, swirly bit. Okay, now we're really nearly done. The last thing, well, now we've got two more things to do, actually. In fact, let's do the lily pad first. We're going to do our frog sitting on a lily pad. So what we need to do is from about here, we're going to draw a great big oval. Now, lily pads are quite circular, but because we've sort of, we're looking from the front, it's going to be more of an oval like that. And we're just going to come all the way around and join back up to the other side there. So there we go, our frog sitting on a lovely lily pad. And the last thing I want to do, the reason our frog is looking over there, frogs have these huge long tongues, don't they? They flick out to catch flies for their dinner. So we are going to draw a little tongue coming out of our frog here. So we're going to start about a centimetre from the end of the mouth. I want you to draw a line, a little curved line that comes down, goes up, curls around, fills up that top left hand corner, very thin. It's going to go back around, we're just going to follow the line round like that, right like that, until we get back to the beginning and we're just going to join it up there, like that. We're just going to darken it a bit there so we don't see that line that was going through it. And look, a little frog whose tongue is flicked out and the reason it's flicked out is because there's a little fly here. <gasps> Poor little fly. Let's add a little circle. We can do a couple of little circles in there for eyes that we're going to leave white. There we go. Two little pupils looking up like that. And then two little leaf shapes like that. And that's going to be our little fly. And if we add some little lines around it, it's like, ooh! It's like the alarmed little fly <laughs> there. Oh dear. I wonder what's going to happen to that fly. Maybe an escape, who knows. But there we go. There is our very simple cartoony frog. I think it's time to color our frog in now. Now you know the rules with Draw With Rob. What do we think of frogs? Mostly when we think of frogs, we think they're green, but actually in real life, frogs are all sorts of colors. You can get yellow ones, you can get brown ones, you can get blue ones probably, I think. So whatever color you like, that's the rules. You do your frog whatever color you like. I think I probably will stick to green. I like to be traditional, don't I? I'm gonna go away, color mine in. I'll be back in 25 or 30 seconds time, because I'm gonna go into super speed mode to do this, so I'll see you in a minute. Three, two, one, let's go. So there is my finished, coloured in, little frog. He's trying to have a little snack, <laughs> sitting on his lily pad. Oh, I like him. He's quite nice. Maybe he deserves a book at some point. What do you think? He's already made a little cameo appearance, as I told you earlier, in my book, Grr. But he's quite a nice little character, isn't he? So keep your eyes peeled, who knows? Maybe he'll appear in a book at some point in the future. The last thing you need to do to your drawing as per usual, is sign it so that everybody knows who's created this work of art. And you know what? I can't wait to see your drawings. Frogs are the, one of those creatures that they do, as I said earlier, they come in lots and lots of different colours. Sometimes when I'm watching a fabulous David Attenborough documentary, you see some amazing frogs in the Amazon and in sort of in 
in different parts of the world and they're all bright um, you can't make you can't um you can't believe how brightly colored these things are so hopefully i'm going to see lots of brightly colored oh i've just smudged that that's good isn't it um you're going to see lots of brightly i'm going to see lots of brightly colored drawings of frogs from you guys in order for me to see them this is what you need to do you need to get your grown-up to take a picture of your drawing and post it on social media using the draw with rob hashtag that way i will get to see it um and i can't wait to see them this week I hope you've had a nice time uh, drawing along with me. I've had a lovely time showing you how to draw this little frog. I'm going to be back very soon with another Draw with Rob video. In the meantime, everybody, take care of yourselves. Keep on drawing. And I will see you all very soon. Goodbye. I'm back and I'm here to tell you about something super exciting. I know lots of you have enjoyed my Draw With Rob activity books. Well, guess what? We've got a brand new one and it's out now and it's called Draw With Rob, Build A Story. And as the title suggests, this one is all about telling you how to build your own stories, how to write them, how to illustrate them. We're gonna think about characters, how to choose your good guys and your bad guys. We're gonna think about where you set your stories, very important, when you set your story. Is it gonna be in the past, set in the past or in the future, present day? Um, we're gonna talk about how to structure your story. We, we need to give it a good beginning, middle and end. What about plot twists? Do unexpected things happen in your story? It's all covered in this book here. And we've also got our regular draw-alongs, loads of draw-alongs in this one, lots of puzzles, lots of colouring, it's super fun. Every single page is perforated, so once you've done your little draw-along like this one of a unicorn, you draw it in the frame here and you tear that page out, you stick it up on the wall, that's super cool, isn't it? And guess what, right at the end, we've even got lots of blank pages like that for you to write your own story and illustrate your own story, and then you can put the whole thing together, look, you put your own story together like that and then you've made your own book. You don't need me anymore. So listen, I'm super proud of this book. I'm pretty sure you're going to really, really enjoy it. And guess what? It's out now. You can get it from wherever you buy your books. Okay, so listen, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to see you really soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. Bye everyone.